What's up guys, it is from Chang with part 3 of my Armored Core 5 tank design corner. Now if you weren't here to uh, watch, if you didn't watch the first two, basically I'm doing tanks a little bit differently than my usual design corner. Um, I'll be skipping over the build and just talking mainly about the weapons that make up the tank. And so what I have right here t right now is uh, what is called a pulse cannon tank. If you were around when the, when the game first came out, you know exactly what this build is. Um, right next to the HRJ, it was one of the most powerful and broken builds, and using it would get you a lot of hate. To give you an idea how strong it is, is that if when using two pulse cannons and amps, you could pretty much kill anything that went into your path, be it lightweights, HRJs, tanks, midweights, anything in around two to three seconds of constant fire. Uh, needless to say, a lot of people didn't like it, and back in 1.01, it was pretty pretty common because of how easy it could destroy any other build. So it's got some history behind it. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Alright, I already went over the head, core, arms, and this time we'll be talking about the the bike, the uh, light tank leg real fast. So the two legs in particular, which are classified as light, are the Baikal, which I have equipped here, and the Elvis. You can tell based on their weight and also their shape. They're like, uh, like a very, um, I don't know, like a very misshaped brick. I guess would be the closest thing I, I could describe it as. It's a lot more unique and different from, let's say, the heavy legs. As you can see here, it's more like an actual tank, or closer to what you would think a tank would be. Out of India, 93A. And basically, what the light legs have is greater mobility, obviously. Um, especially speaking in their ascent performance, which is basically how high they can, you know, boost upwards. Because tank legs can't jump. They have like a very slow um, upward movement. And also, like the Elbrus here, it has the heavy, the light tank legs have very good charge attack power, which is basically the damage it does when it kicks. Uh, the the Baikal over here does 20,000, and the Elbrus does 22. The Baikal is a bit more oriented toward defenses, just a slight bit more, and the Elbrus is more going towards speed and mobility. I personally prefer the Baikal, but you really can choose whichever you want. Right? FCS, Glance, and so on as usual. Recon, 36EA, I already talked about that in the other videos. And so the bread and butter of this AC is the Pulse Cannon. This is basically an upgraded version of the Pulse Gun. It fires multiple small projectiles. Um, to describe it, it's, it's basically like an energy shotgun. As you can see here, the description, a pulse cannon is a TE weapon that rapidly fires EM rounds in a spray pattern. Rounds explode on impact or after a set distance, dealing area of effect damage. Engages ready position when firing. That only applies to midweights though, so just ignore that last sentence. But anyway, pulse cannons, as you can see here, there's a few varieties. There's the Pueblo, the Gold Root, the UPC-37H and the Kamile PC-60. Uh, when you're using a pulse cannon tank, usually you stick between the UPC-37H for the attack power or the Pueblo if you want to go for slightly less energy consumption and a little better range and reload. But back then, uh, pulse cannons were really good, especially when you would had it with an amp. Uh, right here, because the thing is, is that alone the pulse cannon is pretty was pretty strong back then. But with the with an energy amp, it would increase the power to ridiculous levels. And the other thing is that back then some of the key stats were a lot higher, like the explosion range, TE explosive force, and explosive duration were much longer back then. And that meant the that because um, pulse weapons, their projectile explodes after a set distance. So basically, with an amp in 1.01 using a pulse cannon, 
the explosion range and explosion force as well as the duration was absurdly long. So it did a lot more damage than what the damage than what the attack power suggests. So, so as I mentioned earlier, like even against a tank or a heavyweight which has high TE defense, you know, you know, like 2,500 to the maximum is 5,000, I believe. You could kill them in two to three seconds of constant fire. Even the highest defense, like I said, 5,000, it takes about six seconds of constant fire. And that's still a, a very short period of time. Of course, the drawbacks of this is that it drains quite a bit. It's inaccurate at long range. Um, and more importantly, when patch 1.03 came along, the weapon was, the pulse cannons were nerfed quite a bit. So the explosion range, the T explosive force, and the explosion, explosion duration were shortened dramatically. There was also an increase in increase in the EN consumption during use. Um, there was lower muzzle velocity, and I think they received a slight nerf in attack power. But basically, when 1.03 came along, they nerfed the hell out of it. And then when 1.04 came, they buffed it up slightly. So they got rid of a little bit of the energy consumption and um, I don't remember what else they did, but I think they increased the optimal range just a little bit. So as it currently is, the Pulse Cannon Tank in 1.04 and 1.05 is a is a lot like uh, the Heat Cannon Tank. It's a niche build. You know, it's built for one purpose. It's, you know, destroying any lighter units like midweights, lightweights, and HRJs. And it does a pretty good job of that. Except for the fact that, you know, it, it drains a lot now. Against tanks and heavies, it does pretty much nothing. In fact, you will really only need one amp in order to make this build work. Um, for here, I have two, two equipped just because I have the Severn arm, just as usual. But usually most people equip one because the equip, by having a dual arm, it actually it drains more than what it's worth, basically. And so like I said, this is, this is quite an old build dating back to when the first came out. Um, it's not used quite as much anymore because it's a lot harder to use now and it's not quite as easy to kill people, especially, you know, moving target because people know how to move better now. But it, you do see it pop up from time to time. Usually you see people who use it who played back in 1.01, but some people just like, you know, killing things in an instant. What can I say? And that covers the Pulse Cannon tank for this Armor Core 5 design corner. Um, as I mentioned earlier, since I'm going to be doing these vids a little bit differently, I'm actually not going to include um, fight footage at the end of this video. I'm actually going to compile it into a few other videos and then just show it off there and have a little bit of commentary on that. But. Um, you know, if you like this video, please subscribe, and if there's any builds you would like to see me use or show off, please let me know in the comments. Alright, so this is from Chang, and I'm signing out. <laughs>